Alright guys, it's the Junkie, and I'm back. Um, I told you guys I was going to make a video and on how to make uh, what I like to call the poor man's comic book drawers. Now, I've been coming up with ideas in my head for a while. Um, so I, I finally got my boxes in. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. If you guys ever wanted to have... I'm sure everybody's seen them, the comic book drawer system. Where you can pull your comics out. Um, it's like a filing cabinet. And what makes it nice is they're nice and sturdy. You know, they don't budge. Um, so you're able to, like, pull your boxes out, this and that. Well, I'm going to show you how to make them. And you can use your ordinary... Most of my boxes are the BCW. Um, so these work perfect, but I've tried them out. Any one of these boxes that are normal comic book size boxes. You know, not the magazine or the CGC boxes, but just your average short box works. Okay, now what I did was, what you'll need is, um, these are the BCW, as you can see. The BCW, just the shells, because um, I have plenty of boxes. Now on eBay, I bought me a pack of 10 for $46 free shipping, okay? So, I just bought a package of 10 just to try it out, see if it even worked. Because um, I had no idea this w idea was even going to work. But the only tools that you'll need is I got some uh, zip ties. You can get these from anywhere. Grocery stores, Walmart, Home Depot, anywhere. Just plain regular zip ties. Now you can get colored ones or whatever. I just got the regular white ones. You'll need a measuring measuring uh, thing and basically all you'll need is a, a screwdriver the um what do they call it the Phillips head and a pen and that's that's all you'll that's all you'll need to make comic book drawers now what I did was is I measured out there's my measurements on where I wanted the holes placed okay so basically, I've put three of my ten together, and here, here they are, guys. As you can see, they are the BCW, just the plain shells, it even says there, short comic books house. And what I did was, and here's the insides. Now what I did was, now this is, this is awesome, guys. I mean, if you want to have comic book drawers, and I mean, look how sturdy. I'm holding it up in the air, there's three of them here. They're pretty sturdy. I've shaked them. I've tried to move them. They don't. They don't move, and that's the beauty of it. And these boxes will fit inside. Um, I'm doing this on the fly. Um, I could try to put my phone down and show you that they'll fit in, but let me see here. Just so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But here's the shells, right? And here's just a plain comic book box. And it fits right in. You see that, guys? And it slides right out. Now, granted, it's on the floor. But as you can see, it's still, it's still sturdy. So I found a cheap way of making comic book drawers without spending the money. Now, I'm sorry guys, the video is kind of shaky, but I just wanted to put that box in to show you guys. But as you can see, the box is in. Now granted, it's sitting on the floor and you guys are thinking, oh, it's... But I mean, if you look, I'm shaking it and they're not, they're not budging. Okay, so basically what you do is you find the front of the box, okay? Like here's the open part of the box where your box is gonna slide in. Here's the back side. Let me show you the back. Okay? What you do is you measure, like I measured out what I was comfortable with. So basically all you do is you measure the measurements you want. I, do, I go two inches from the front, and then um, from the very front of the box, two inches on the first hole, and then I go three and a half on the second hole, right? Then I do two inches down, and I do the same for the bottom and the back side. So once you have your holes, you mark them, 
with your pen or a marker, you can do whatever. You mark the holes, right? Now you do it to another empty box on the side that's going to sit flush with this side. Okay, you see, you know what I'm talking about. So what you would do is once you have them holes marked up, as long as you use your measuring measuring tape and the holes, the holes will line up because you've got an exact measurement on what you want. Once the holes are lined up, basically you're gonna have you're gonna need four zip ties. Okay, and like I said, you can get 200. And 50 of these for like, I think like five bucks. So basically, all you're gonna do is on the inside of the box, because um, your boxes will be lined up, but on each side, this will slide into one hole and through the other box. And on the inside, you'll zip it. And you'll do, like I said, two in the front and then two in the back, and that'll lock these in. And then what happens is, is these uh, BCW uh, shells, they come with an inner box. Because you're wondering, well, the zip ties are going to get caught on your comic book box. Not true. Because they come with the inner box that you fold. It has folding, and it slides. It slides right in here like this. So basically, this outer, this inner shell is going to cover the the zip ties so the zip ties will never get caught on your boxes and the beauty of this is instead of you know you could try like uh super gluing these boxes together i don't know how sturdy that would be but i guess you could try it but the beauty of this is is you can make these as far across as you want um all you got to do is when you're done if you want to shrink if you want to do like 10 across in the bottom all you have to do if you wanted to decide to move it to five you just got to cut the zip ties, and you won't even ruin the box. Plus, all the holes will be lined up, so you can make them as, as long as you want or as short as you want. But right now, I have three together. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the junkies' way of making comic book drawers for the cheap. Those 15 cost me $500. These 10 that I'll have put together cost me 46 well with supplies let's say $50 so you know you can't beat it man but this is the junkie this is my way of showing you how to make what I call the poor man's comic book drawers and I'm out if you have any questions go ahead and ask them I'll make a video of a complete I'm gonna do five across and then five on top um, and I'll do a video on a complete project, but I just wanted to give you a quick video to show you how it's come along I told you I would do one. I got my boxes today And I just threw three together real quick to show you guys. All right guys. This is the junkie and I'm out